Hello all, in this tutorial we are going to learn CPM. CPM stands for Critical Path Network. This, the aim of the CPM is to calculate the longest path in the project. The project comprises of many tasks and each of the tasks is said to be an activity and uh, they, with the help of CPM what we can do is we can identify which activity is taking a long time in a project and we can able to identify the critical path in the network and this critical path help us to identify the longest path uh, in the project or in the software de uh, de development so there is a problem so assume we have a, a task like a b c up to i and the precedence relationship between the these uh, tasks is given by a less than d a less than e a less than b less than f d less than e c less than g c less than h f less than i g less than i and the task and the duration is given in this data. So this will be the data. We have to uh, frame an, a network big, big, uh, based on this uh, precedence relationship as well as in uh, time as well as the task relationship. What we have to do is uh, assume we have a task. You can write like this task and we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and uh, so we have to frame a predecessor relationship so we can write a precedence relationship or precedence or predecessor so we have to check whether a is located in the rhs of this relationship for example a less than d a it is in the left side and d it is in the right side so we have to check whether a is there in the right side so there is no a here in any of the relationship so a doesn't have any predecessor Similarly, you have to check for B. B is not there in any uh, RHS, so you, there is no predecessor for B. And similarly for C, there is no predecessor. But D is there in the RHS, and what is the predecessor? The predecessor is A. So you can write A here. Similarly, E is there, the predecessor is A. So you can write A here. Similarly, F, we have B. And again for F, we have D. Similarly for uh, G, we have a predecessor C, for H we have C and for I we have F and again for I we have G. Then the time is given by 8, 10, 8, 10, 16, 17, 18, 14 and 19. So now the data is, the given data is converted to this form. The given data is converted to this form. Using this data, we are going to draw the uh, uh, activity diagram and also we are going to solve this CPM. So on the other hand, we need to draw the uh, CPM for this or we need to draw the network uh, diagram for this. So here A, B, C these are the activities that doesn't have any uh, predecessor so you can directly draw this so a b c and after completing a we have d but d is combined with b so you can directly combine this with uh, d so we have completed this and then after A we have E, E doesn't combine with any of this activity so we can draw E here. Then so we have completed this then after B, D we have F but F completes after uh, uh, F combines with the F and G but G is not there so we can first put F here. So we have completed this after G we have C uh, sorry after C we have G. So G is combined with the F. So what you can draw, what you can draw is after C we can uh, draw G by combining with this F. So we have completed this. After uh, C we have another thing called H. Then after H, F and G we have another thing called I. So now. Uh, three states have been uh, completed instead of putting these three stages uh, we can have one uh, separate state and we can connect uh, instead of writing this thing we can connect uh, directly to this 
and instead of writing 8 we can directly connect to this instead of writing 7 we can directly connect to this so that main thing is we can eliminate these three states so we have 1 2 3 4 and this 6 can be replaced as 5 and this thing is said to be 6 and these states can be eliminated because we have connected with the ending state so no need to put this state so we have uh, we have constructed our uh, uh, network uh, graph so what we can do is next step is we have to calculate uh, latest completion time uh, and earliest start time for every nodes so the formula for earliest completion time is so we can uh, frame like this so for every node you put a box that consists of two areas one is uh, earliest start time and the latest completion time so the second one is the the bottom one is a to be earliest start time and the top one is a to be earliest start time sorry uh, latest completion time so normally for a project uh, earliest start time and the latest completion time will be zero now what you can do is you can uh, apply you can, using some formula you can apply this before that uh, you write the value for a so here in this problem the value for a is 8 b is 10 like that uh, the data is given so you can write the value for a is 8 for b it is 10 for c it is 8 for d it is 10 for e it is 16 for f it is 17 for g it is 18 for h it is 14 for i it is 9 so now we will calculate earliest start time so earliest start time for the first node is 0 so next we will go for 2 so 2 has only one incoming arrow that is from this one so 1 has 0 so the earliest start time for node 2 is we can write 0 plus 8 that is equal to 8 next we will go for 3 so 3 is nothing but 0 plus 10 it is 10 for 4 it is 0 plus 8 it is 8 next we will go for 5 so here in this 5 we have two incoming arrows sorry uh, i think we will miss uh, we have missed a 3 also so 3 we have uh, two incoming arrow so one is from 1 and another one is from 3 so from 1 it is 0 plus 10 it is 10 from 2 it is 8 plus 10 it is 18 so this from 1 to 3 it is 10 from 2 to 3 it is 8, uh, 8 plus 10, 18. So now we have two values that is 10 and 18. So we have to uh, put a maximum value here. So here we have 18 instead of 10. So you have to calculate uh, like that. And the next one is 5. 5 we have two incoming arrows. One is from 4 and another one is from 3. So 3 we have 18 plus 17. From 4 we have 8 plus 18. So 18 plus 18 plus 17 is 35 and 18 plus 8 is 26. So the largest value is 35. And for E6 we have 3 incoming arrows. So 8 plus 6 is 24 then we have 35 plus 9 is 44 and we have 8 plus 14 is 22 the largest value is 44 you can write 44 here so this is how we can calculate uh, the earliest start time now suppose uh, assume we have a state suppose we have a two incoming arrow the maximum of this two incoming arrows we can take and we can put that as the consideration for the earliest uh, for the latest completion time for the we have to start from the last node for the last node it is like 44 there is no change because there is no outgoing arrow from this node then we will go for 5 so from 5 we have a one outgoing arrow so that is from 6 
so we have 44 in previous case we have added the uh, value but here we have to subtract the value so 44 minus 9 is 35 so you have to write 35 here then we'll go for 4 4 we have two outgoing arrows so so 44 so that is that 44 minus uh, 14 is one value and uh, 35 minus 18 is another value so 44 minus uh, 14 is 30 35 minus 18 is 17 so 30 is there and 17 is there so we have to write the minimum value of 30 and 17 so the minimum value can be written here 17 so similarly if you go for third so third we have uh, only one outgoing arrow so that is for 5 so we have to write 35 minus 17 so 35 minus 17 is 18 so we have to write 18 here then we will go for 2 so 2 has only one outgoing arrow so that is from 44 so I think uh, there is a mistake check so for 2 we have 2 outgoing so so that is 44 minus 16 and we have uh, 3 we have 18 minus 18 minus 10 we have 8 so this will be like uh, 8 then 28 so the minimum is 8 so this will be 8 so I will be drawing this diagram clearly so that you can understand this so after completing this uh, let me draw it in a clear manner So this is the clear uh, view of the uh, this diagram. So we have uh, 0, 0 here. We have 8, 8 here. And we have 18, 18 for this 3. And we have 17, 8 for this. And we have 35, 35 for this. And we have 44, 44. So now, uh, after completing this, we are, it is very easy to calculate the critical path. So critical path, we can start it from 1. So from 1, we can go to 2 because 2 has the upper value and the lower value is same. So you mark from 1 to 2. You should not draw from 1 to 3 directly. Before going to 1 to 3, we have to check whether 1 to 2 is possible or not. So 1 to 2 is possible, so you mark it. So from after 2, we have 3. So 3, it is possible, upper value and lower, lower value are same, so you mark it. So then after this uh, 3 we can try for 4, there is no connection, no need to connect. After uh, 4 we can check for 5, so 5 it is possible, you can put a mark. So after 5, 6 it is possible, after 6 there is no state. So the critical path uh, of this problem is, so from 1 to 2 it is, then from 2 to 3, from 3 to 5 and from 5 to 6. So the length of uh, the critical length is so this is the critical path and the critical length is from a, uh, from 1 to 2 we have uh, a 8 from 2 to 3 we have 16 from 3 to 5 we have 18 from 5 to 6 we have 9 so if you add all these things you will get a critical length of the project so let me revise this so what they have given is they have given a, a precedence relationship and uh, using this precedence relationship we have to obtain some uh, data and uh, precedence is like that so after identifying the precedence relationship we have to draw this uh, network diagram and you have to calculate uh, uh, earliest start time and the latest completion time and uh, using this earliest start time and the latest completion time is uh, 
you can calculate both the upper limit upper value and the lower value so to mark the critical path we can go for if if both upper and lower are same we can mark that as the critical length so you can start from the first node and then second node like that you can go and we have another problem so we'll just give you an idea you can do it yourself so this problem in this problem what they have given us instead of given a predecessor they have directly given an activity so from activity 1 and 2 they have given the value 15 so from 1 and 3 they have given 15 from 2 to 3 3 like that they have given so if they give a problem like this it is very easy to calculate first you can draw the network diagram after network diagram you can calculate the earliest start time and the latest completion time and the critical path is this so you can pass the video and you can check the answer with yourself and this will be the critical path thank you